All right, today I am excited to bring you a video I've been working on. There has been a lot of controversy with the Copperheads. I say more about it in the written section. But I went and picked some up from the local sporting goods store. They look really good. This batch looks excellent. Maybe some of the best I've ever seen. But there has been a lot of complaints even from people I trust saying that they got rusty Copperheads. They, they even claim they wrecked their guns. I'm not going to say that didn't happen. And so I went to the auto store and I was told, you know, hey, someone said, hey, have you thought of spraying WD-40 on there? And I was like, well, let's let's see what I can figure out. And uh, someone was just saying spray it in the bottle, and I, that didn't sound right. So then I um, went ahead and went to the auto store and got this. So that is WD-40 Penetrator. It's a specialist. They're specialist uh, brand. And so it's really geared towards getting after rust. And the guys in the auto store were adamant that I try this and it turned out really well so let's take a look here okay so this is after seven days BB soaking in there for seven days and they are turning black they are rusting and so definitely corrosion and it's turning that lap pea yellow and they're dissolving now after the video I'm going to actually try to salvage these with that spray and shoot them through my marksman because of the easy breach access if anything goes wrong I'm, I'm not worried about it i can i can fix that but i'm actually confident i can maybe get after these and save these but look at what happens when they're obviously in a lot of water so it's true these things really and just not those bbs um but they really do start breaking down now look at this seven days treated with that specialist wd-40 and they are pristine, folks. Look at that. There we go. Pristine. Look at the water. Seven days. They look great. And so now let's go over how do you do this. Okay. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, so take the top off. And then we put a small batch down. Now, for 1,500, you're going to want two or three batches. But I'll just do a sample batch here. So put them down. Okay. And let's just put it over here. Okay. And then you shake this for 30 seconds. Please make sure to do that says to so please shake it if you're not sure shake it a little longer and then simply hose it down move it with your hand to reposition it to, and then hose it down again and then back off that's it at first i tried doing it like ballastol where i spray and wipe that didn't work when i did that it just looked just like that the untreated ones because wd-40 is a little different it forms this very fine film and this Really, I have not seen any problems, no, like a plastic buildup or anything. They shoot great. So that's how you handle that. And now let's go over uh, some of the things that uh, have been happening. People are buying like the 6,000 BB ones, whether Daisy or Crossman, and that's where they're seeing some problems. And I guess it could happen. So if you dump some of that out and you use a magnifier and you see rust and you see problems, then you use your WD-40 to bust it and clean it, use a rag, and then once it's clean and that will bust it, uh, then you do this process. Now, any real big bad BBs, toss them. I, I'm just going to return to the uh, compliment the Crossman. This batch is some of the most beautiful copperheads I've ever seen. And they're shooting well. And we'll talk more about that in the written section. But um, yes, the Black Widows are great BBs. But, uh, you know, these aren't bad. And so that's uh, how you do it. So, again, please put it on a newspaper. This is a gun pad. Uh, put it on something. The WD-40 soaks through the paper. And it dries in about 10 minutes. Please wait half an hour. Just air on the side. This has to dry untouched for it to do its jobs. And you get these great results like this. That is fantastic. Okay, look at the water. And then look at this. And this is what people have been dealing with. And it, then it clumps up. You literally imagine a few hundred of those clumping up in your magazine in a Red Rider or a, a pump, mag, uh, pump gun or the Cowboy. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, so that's, that's pretty cool. And uh, so that's how that's handled. And uh, one last thing I want to close out talking about is I've looked for any faulty BBs under magnification that... Uh, maybe I could help that this thing would help spraying it with and so I found one that was pretty bad looking uh, And I sprayed it waited for 10 minutes looked at it again under magnification and it was flawless just flawless uh, One of the things that was wrong with it, it it just the plating was bad or maybe grime But this either took off the factory grime and or we fixed actually with that really fine film that dries on there uh, the imperfections in the plating it did a great great job 
So anyway, so that was that's a bonus because understand if the BB is more flawless and doesn't have all the flaws, it can only shoot better. It's not going to fix any serious uh, problems with the metal, like if it's really scraped or dented, but the imperfections, it made it look like a perfect BB, like a Black Widow. So I'm pretty excited to bring that to you. So remember, put it on a newspaper, hose it down, slightly adjust it, hose it down again, then don't touch it for 30 minutes. And then you put that batch in a bowl after 30 minutes and begin with another batch. And you can do obviously a bigger pile than that. Just take your time. All right, well, I'm, I'm happy to bring that to everybody and I'm gonna go, I'm definitely gonna go shoot these. I'm not worried about it. And I'm gonna try to salvage these guys right here. But this does work, folks. You can kiss Russ goodbye and your uh, BBs and a fear of putting BBs in your gun. Uh, you can kiss that goodbye if you do this method. Okay, thank you.